What is up YouTube? I hope everyone's having a good day. I'm just checking up and following up the, the video I uploaded before I left Kentucky to come to Texas. Currently right now I'm in Texas staying with my cousin and I'm just waiting for the for the job that I applied for for the call bag. I know, right? Why are you waiting for a job? Well, because this job is... This job could impact my future pretty big. I tried to do something like this back in Kentucky, but... Honestly, in my opinion, it felt like they only wanted to hire... Caucasian people over me because I was always told that I did not have enough experience or I was told that there wasn't any positions open or there wasn't any enough work to be provided. So I just, I didn't really give up. I kind of just settled for what I had till my cousin told me about a job opportunity that came up in Texas, which pays literally more money than I can even think of and more money that I could even get without a college degree. And even though, I, if even if I don't get the job, I still have another job that I plan on trying to get in. And, and it's career ready too, or on a career path that I actually enjoy. But yeah, currently right now I'm just, well, taking my relaxing till I have to go have to start another job, I mean a temporary job, in order to get money flowing in. So yeah. But yeah, um, enough of that. Today I want to talk about um, what alpha male strategies and red pill coach have been discussing with, with me and with a lot of people in general. The topic about love, sex, and people you have sex with. Today, I've realized that it doesn't really matter. Um, honestly, I think having sex with somebody is overrated, but having sex with a special somebody is underrated. No one ever talks about how um, if you have sex with a meaningful person and having a good connection with them, that sex will be a part of the best sex of your life. Recently today, I had sex with somebody I didn't even enjoy having sex with. Like, don't get me wrong, it felt good at the moment, but after it, I just realized, like, wow. It, was, it wasn't really a waste of my time, it just, it's more like a waste of my energy. It made me think, like, wow, love and connection really, like, go together when it comes to sex. Especially nowadays, but it just seems like it's, it's a rare occasion. Or it's very rare, in all honesty, to find somebody you have a good connection with. Because most of the time, you're going to deal with games, insecurities, someone cheating on one or the other. Well, yeah, one of the sexes are cheating on each other. And you're just, there's no trust. It's just all, it's all some type of selfish benefit at the end of the day. It's no... How do I put it? It's like, there's no connection. Like, I don't know. I can't really say, but in my opinion, I really think that you can have, you can have as much, you can have sex with 20 women, but if you have no type of real connection with them, and you're just there just to bust a nut, it's, it's going to get boring sooner or later, and it's going to get tiring, and it's going to drain you. Like, I know there's a lot of people out there who's never had sex before, but honestly, like they, like I've heard before, you're not really missing anything. Because at the end of the day, if you're not happy, what's the point of having sex with somebody who's not really happy to have sex with you? Like, literally. But so, yeah, that's just my thoughts today. Um, hope you guys have a good rest of the day. I just wanted to follow up on a video that I made.